Welcome back to the final part in this tutorial series where we have been putting together a website for the Queensland Firebirds. In our previous video we started styling it up using CSS. We didn't quite finish it though, so it's looking good. Not great yet though, we still got a little bit to go to make it look completely professional, but we're almost there. Okay, so what I'll get you to do is pop back over to your style sheet in brackets. The next thing that we're going to style up is on the home page, this image here. Okay, we just want to get it over into the center in line with the rest of the text. Okay, so if we have a look at our index page here, that picture comes inside a section tag. And it's the only section tag in our website, so all we need to do is just write in our section tag and just write text align as center. Save it up, preview it and we've got it centered. Okay, we will push that down a little bit later on. Just leave it as is for now. All right. Another thing that we can style up on those pages is the footer section at the bottom here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is write in the footer tag, open up the curly braces. We're going to change the background color first of all. So we'll put in a hexadecimal value of, oops, Press the wrong button, 25, hashtag 250052. That's going to make just a dark purple color as your background for the footer section. The font color, so just color, needs to be white so we can see it on that dark background. We're going to make the font size a little bit smaller than usual, so 0.75, so that's three quarters of its usual size. 0.75 em, that should read. Text align will be center, so it's centered on the page, and we're going to put some padding around it, so a bit of room to breathe, and it's going to be 10 pixels padding. Don't forget to put semicolons at the end of each line there. Save it up by pressing Control S and just have a preview, and you can see that you've got a nice little footer down the bottom there. Okay, if you go through some of those other pages, you'll get the idea of how it looks. Right, looking good. Sweet, so that is our footer section all done. Next thing we might have a look at over here in the fixture is our table. We've also got a table over here where the girls are presented um, with their photos. Okay, so we might style these tables up. So let's write in the table tag. Open up curly braces. And we're going to set the width to 100%. We're also going to change border col oops, sorry, border collapse to collapse. That's going to get rid of that ugly looking border that we saw just a moment ago. So if we go back and have a look, it just makes a nice thin hairline border now. And that's filling up 100% of the allowable space. So 768 pixels width there. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Back over here into our CSS. The next thing we're going to style up is the TD section, so the table data sections. We're just going to write in text align and center it. That'll just center the text inside our tables and we're going to put the line height to 2EM just to space out the text and the pictures inside the tables. So let's have a look. Just click off the table for a sec so it doesn't highlight it. There we go, that looks a lot nicer. And if we go and look at the team pictures now, we've got a little bit of space between each of them. So that's definitely looking a lot better. I'll stick on this fixture page for now though. Um, something else that we can do is probably style up the TH section. So the little headings. So back over here, the date, the venue and the time. We'll style that up. What we'll do is we'll put them in uppercase. So text transform will be uppercase. I'll just put the text in capital letters and we'll change the background color so right in background we'll do hashtag e e e 4 f f e e e 4 f f righto semicolon save that and you'll see you get a light pink color now as the header row for our fixture All right so that fixture section is looking pretty good so i'm happy with how that's going 
Um, over on the contact page, we've still got some issues. Okay, we can't see our email address properly because at the moment our hyperlinks are colored white. Okay, and our background's white. That's why we can't see that email address. And also these icons need to be resized as well. So, let's head back over to brackets here. Let's change our hyperlinks, I think. So in the contact page, what we're going to have to do is find that hyperlink down here. All right, and we're going to have to give it a class name. So where we've got ahref equals, and we've got the mail to email address, and then we're going to have to put a space at the end. Just write class equals, and we'll just call it hyperlink, and save that up. Now in our style sheet, we're going to put in dot hyperlink, open up curly brace, and change its color. And we're going to make the color hashtag 5C17AD, semicolon. And that's going to be like a yeah, that darkish purple color. So you can see that email address there now. Okay. The other thing we want to do is when we hover over that hyperlink, what color we want it to go. So we'll just write in dot hyperlink colon hover. Open up curly braces. This time, color is going to be hashtag 9548E2. And we're also going to change the text decoration to underline. So when we hover over our email address, the link will appear underlined and it will change to this slightly lighter purple pinky kind of color. So there you go, you can see that happening there now. So that's working well. So let's get these um, social media icons working. We need to go back to our contact HTML page here and find where we put them in. Okay, so they're down here. What we're going to need to do here is we're going to have to change the image size which means we need to give these images a class name as well. So we only affect these images and not any of the other images. So inside the image for the Facebook one, after the words alt equals Facebook icon, I want you to write class equals, and let's just give it the class name social. Copy that, paste it into the Instagram one and the YouTube one. Okay, so they've all got the class name social, which means we can go back to the style sheet now, write in dot social, and change the settings for those little social media icons. So we'll change the width to 50 pixels, we'll change the height to the same, 50 pixels. We'll put in some padding around the outside of them, maybe 10 pixels of padding around each of the icons. And we'll change the margin dash top five pixels so it's got a bit of a gap at the top above each of the icons so save that and go and have a look at them and you can see they're looking a bit better I'll just click off them so we can see that without the blue line that's looking good might just style up this horizontal rule we've got that in a couple of places here I'm just going to put a bit of padding around it so to do that just write HR in open up your curly braces and just write margin dash top, set it to 20 pixels, save it, and it just puts in a bit of space above that horizontal rule. So that looks good there in the contact page, that's looking good there. So I think our contact page is all done, those hyperlinks work, that works, that's all good. Our fixture page looks sweet, okay, that's all done. Team page, yeah, we can hover over them, they look pretty good. Yes, a little song works. We've heard that earlier. And our home page, looking good except for this picture here. Okay, so it looks like we just need to play around with this image. Let's push it down a little bit because at the moment it's not working how we want it to. So back in our style sheet, that image came inside the section tag. So let's go back up and find this section. Got text align as center there. What we're going to have to do is probably throw in margin top. And it's going to be a bit of trial and error here, but if we put in 50 pixels to start with and save it, 
that looks pretty good i'll just click out of it so you can see that but that's pushed it down 50 pixels and now we've got a nice little gap between the text and the image if you wanted to go a little bit further that probably wouldn't hurt they go into 60 pixels yeah that looks all right too actually so i might leave it at 60 pixels Alrighty, so that is our web page all done our website all done home page got a team page got our fixture page and we've got our contact page Alrighty, so i know that was a long one I'm glad you stuck uh, with it till the end you can save everything up now and you have completely finished